What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Third Person. My name is Chris. That's Mike. What's going on? This is The Walking Dead. We're talking Season 9, Episode 10, Omega, which yes. is interesting because we get to meet Alpha. No. <laughs> uh, A lot of those Greek words there. Yeah. Yeah. So, Mike, um, I'm going to tell you right off the bat. I'm going to jump into yeah. it. I'm going to tell you this. This was uh, this episode was okay. Um, I was a little bored by it. I didn't think you know it had some some interesting parts, which we can get to in, in a sec. But for the most part, it was again just talking heads. It was, you know, okay. You know, they found out that he that they were use. You know, Henry found out he was being used, and then you know he was mad at Daryl, and then he wasn't mad at Daryl, and Daryl saw okay, hey, you know, she she's gonna. Is she going to change? Is she brainwashed? You know, it's like it had its moments. Yeah. But I was a little yeah. bored. Uh, I mean, it was a little dragged out. The ending is what kind of sold me on the episode. Uh, just the intensity of Alpha um, and the walk and, you know, the whispers walking through that cornfield. I think it was like really cool shots. Um, listen, the Lydia stuff is obviously pivotal to the to the episode because we're seeing how alpha brainwashed her and 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 how um she was kicking around in her head she still didn't really know exactly what went on truthfully and right. i think daryl talking to her kind of brought that out um she, yeah she reconciled it. she was able to put the yeah back so it gave right us now. you know it made sense to what yeah. they did it was it dragged on a little bit i think so but um you know listen the whisper part of it i think is what i'm um, really looking forward to I'm looking forward to the the Negan Judas stuff and when Negan fits in. So hopefully that's within uh, the next episode. Yeah, uh, but I, oh, I mean, not bad, not a bad episode. You know, I think uh, you know, finding out the it's interesting that we get to find out about um, uh, L- Lydia's mom, Alpha. Yeah. It's interesting because you know that's a character that we don't we didn't really know a lot about. Yeah, so they had in, to do it. Makes like sense. The comic, but this yeah. time they're letting us see. So, so right off the bat, that, I thought that was interesting. Right off the bat, they're saying, "Hey, look, this woman's taking charge. She's crazy. Whatever. The dad's not the bad guy. It's the mom. Great. You know. Um. You know. Then her being brainwashed. So, you know, that has a thing. And then, you know, you got to give it to him that. Oh, she's. Is she going to be turned? You know, turned right away. All this happened in one episode. She was in. She was an a hole in the beginning, and she turned around by the end, or beginning to at least. You know, it's cool. I guess that's that's cool. Uh, yeah. Well, it helps you know, with the pacing. We always complain about the pacing of of uh, these episodes. So if it, if she changed like that and she's going to be a, a a good part of the hilltop and a good person, then Lydia, good, right? Then it's moving it forward. Why it's not? Moving it forward. Right? Yeah, why so not? then, so then you have, you know, so that was that, and you know, the thing with the walkers is, I'm sorry, the the, the whispers. Mm. You know, oh yes, at the end there's a lot of them. You're like, oh damn it, right? But then it's like. Yeah, yeah, but they know what you're gonna say. Yeah, they don't have guns. What do they yeah. have? Knives? Like, but well, well, I mean, we obviously saw Alpha in the previous episode with the shot with the solo shotgun. So right. we can also assume that they have a gun in their buckle in their pants or whatever, you know. So they so um, they have guns. They sh- they just walk right up. I mean, they they've got balls. You know, that's for true. And they've yeah. got, and they've got Luke and what's his name? I can never remember that guy's name. Uh, Alden. 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 Yeah. Okay. One of the okay. yeah. So yeah, obviously that's. You know, and then uh, in in uh, what was a, a preview? They they whip out a baby or something. Yeah, well, Daryl pretty much says we're not giving you Lydia, and she says wrong uh, answer. Oh, well, wrong answer, and we can take you out. We can, you know, we can handle you guys pretty much. And then a whisperer pulls a baby out, and Daryl kind of gets into it with them. You have a baby out there, this, and, you know, and it's kind of cool though. Alpha quickly says like, "We're animals. Animals live in the wild." Yeah. Kind of. So it was kind of cool, but yeah, I mean, I thought the same thing. I thought the I thought that in the previous episode too, when um, all we really saw up until Alpha with the gun was knives. Right. So it's like they we have to make sure that Angela Kang and and the writers of the show make them the whisperers as big as a, a threat. As, as the saviors were, and Negan was. You know what I mean? The Negan stuff was dragged on, obviously, in the past, but you still were afraid of Negan. You knew he was a badass. They had weapons. Yeah. So I, I'm, I'm kind of interested in seeing how um, this is going to pan out because our group can handle people in with knives. You yeah. know, we have plenty of people and plenty of, uh, of weapons the, to take these guys out. You, you know? know, the thing is... 
They are fighting people, though, and that's the thing. And these are close-up mm. fighting now. It's not just like, yeah. you know, I think we mentioned it last episode. It isn't. They're not fighting people with guns against guns where it's a long distance or it's a medium to long-range battle. So yeah. I don't know. They Are they scary? Yeah. Are they intimidating? They're, sure. They're, they're creepy. But they're, she's the most, up until we really got a, a part, a uh, feel of, of Alpha, you know, it was just the whispers were creepy there. It's yeah. just a cool yeah. thing. The shots that we've yeah. seen them with the cemetery, they were just creepy. Now Alpha kind of makes them, she kind of brings out that, threat like she's a she's bad you know, she's, she's, a, she's bad. a maniac yeah, so, yeah she and, adds to that yeah and the flashback obviously showed that too and how she's handling her daughter and beating her and whatnot yeah so so so, so that all remains to be seen again i hope i hope yeah. i hope they can make it interesting make it worthwhile they they, they were making the zombies scary again and like a, a, a threat again which they, which mm-hmm. they've done really well they've brought that back yeah. full circle if they are they are even the jump scares now, you know, like we got a jump scare in, in a, a couple in this one with when the group went out to um, when they were looking for Luke and Alden yeah. in the beginning, Tara, Tara idea. and them, they, they went out and yeah. they were like, oh, are they real? Are, are they the real ones? Or are they fit? like, that was cool. That was tension. That was good. And then you have Connie and uh, Kelly, Kelly yeah, and Magda and um, Kumiko, right? Yumiko. 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 Yeah, they they all went out like a, that is like all right. It's like a death sentence, bro. Yeah, you're like, walking you out doing? into the woods in the That's middle of dumb. the night, you which know. is never a good idea. Even before we knew that there were whispers out there, so now it's even worse. Um, yeah, like you said with Tara and stuff, it was cool. She kind of had like a checklist before she fought some of the walkers. I'm like, oh, I see no no uh, nothing in their hands, no knives or whatever the hell she said. But she mm-hmm. kind of had like this little checklist in mind, which was kind of cool to see. But yeah, it's never good. It's never a good idea when you go out there in the middle of the night looking for um, a couple people that yep. uh, may or may not be alive, and you have whispers roaming around and walkers roaming around, and just not 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 a good look, you know. So I think yeah, I think that was kind of silly. And then and then it they break off. Two of them go home. Two of them keep going, and it's like at the end when when you know obviously Tara knew you know yeah we sent guys after you and you know Connie and Kelly coming back, but then yeah. they show up. So again, there were the, there were moments. There were moments, you know. Mm-hmm. And yeah, that, no, I, I agree. There were moments. There was some moments like when he lets her, when he lets uh, Henry lets Lydia out, and she's yeah. feeding him worms, and it's like that. I was like, I don't really care about that stuff. Like that's I, know. I mean they got to put it in because it's part of the storyline and. Henry is now the new Carl, and you know what I mean. It's like, I guess they got to build up their relationship faster than, you know, than normally. So let's see if this if this works. I mean, we said it already in this episode. The pacing, we it was we were always critical about that. So let's see. Maybe she did change this fast, Lydia. You know, maybe this is a, a way for them to show the relationship between Henry yeah. and Lydia. You know, grow grow quicker sooner than later. You know, so maybe the, that's just a part, maybe that's just how they how they did it. I mean, obviously, know? yeah. I mean, it, it is. Let's it make is. them. Let's make them really close, really fast. And that's so. fine because, again, although I don't like the the character of Henry, you know, yeah. the actor himself, he's portraying that character in a in a mm-hmm. way that I feel is pretty realistic. In that he's a young guy. Don't forget, he was burned by Enid. Yeah. That which she doesn't even know that, but you know. He, he was bur- she was he was burned by Enid, so he's scorned there. Then this other girl shows up, and he's like, "Oh, I can have her all to me, basically." Like you know, it's a young you know how young guys think like I'm gonna yeah. I'm gonna be nice to her and, and 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 whatever. And you know what I'm saying? And you know, I'm yeah. not saying he's trying to bang her right now, but but it's his. You can tell like that's young adolescent man. That's what you do. Yeah. That's what happens. You like that's yeah. what's going through his head, and that's fine, and that's cool. But it's also. You know, as a forty-year-old man, I'm kind of like, okay. Yeah, well, I just want to see people get killed. <laughs> I don't even care. <laughs> you know? Yeah, no, I, I understand completely. But it's Listen, good that's though. That, but it's that's fine. that young. That's that young love. It's that's, fine. It's true. You, it's you like, know, that's what happens. They're pe- look, kids are dumb, man. Yeah, kids if are dumb. We look when back you're young. at the things that we did. Look in the how choices. dumb we were when we were that age, man. You know, we yeah, did we yeah. did dumb things. So yes, so maybe that's a good reason. That's a good reason why Henry does the things he does. Yeah. And, Kind of explained about where the kingdom is or whatnot. He's just smitten. Oh yeah, I forgot about all that crap. And he's like, and Daryl's like, "What the hell are you doing, you <laughs> dumb shit? Like, come on, dude, don't be that dumb." Again, that's so yeah. naive. That, that, he's so, smitten. He's smitten. So naive. You didn't. You didn't go out. You, you know, you tried to to do something different than than the other jokers that you went out with in the beginning of the season. 
those yeah. other kids, right? You tried like to he be made more like adult. he made like yeah. You yeah, made exactly. a decision. You made an adult yeah. decision, and here you're telling an outsider who whose people killed our people. You know what I'm saying? Anyway, whatever. So look, that was it. What else happened? Uh, da, 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 da. I mean, really, that's really really, all really that. about it. We we got like we said we we got we got the flashback stuff. We got the you know we know, the, where, we know uh, where Alpha's search, coming from. Yeah. We know where Liddy is coming it's from. It's pretty we much. Know, yeah, I think we pretty much covered it. I mean, this episode, you know, it, it was it was a decent episode. We really didn't get too much of every other, you know, character over here and there. It was pretty much set to just the flashback, um, learning about Alpha and how she treats Lydia and just the, the search party for Alden and Luke. You know, it really wasn't. Um, it was unfruitful. And now they don't yeah. need him because they're in, they're outside their gates now. So, well. Yeah. So we'll see. I'm, I think the next episode looks a little bit better, a little more action packed. You know what it is? I just, uh, I just, yeah, like this was a little slow. And I think, I think this didn't have to be an hour and eight minutes. I think it could have been like 45 minutes. Like you could have cut out a bunch of stuff, left it at 45 minutes, and we would have been fine. You know? Yeah. So yeah. anyway, look, man, that'll do it. Let that be it. Let that be the end of this review. Right? Yeah. <laughs> I think we said all we needed to say. That's it. What do you guys say? That's what right. what, do, what do you right. guys feel? You know. That's right, guys. Right in the uh, comment section below. What did you think of uh, episode uh, ten? Right, we were at ten. Yes. Uh, Omega. Right in the comment section at Third Person Pod. You can check us out on all the social medias, of course. You can go onto Google Third Person Pod uh, dot com. You can get us there as well. Check us out on iTunes. You can have a listen. You can watch us. We're all over the place. Third Person. Check us out. My hair's really shiny. I should have fixed my camera. But anyway, uh, everything Mike said, uh, I concur with. And I just want to say thank you to everyone who watches these videos. Uh, the Walking Dead is not a big draw on our channel. So we really do appreciate everyone who does comment. And, yes. you know, keep them coming. And tell some friends if they enjoy the show. If they, even if they don't enjoy the show, you know, let them know uh, about our channel and stuff like that. So thank you again thank very much. And we will see you on the next episode for The Walking Dead. Good night. Yes.